Hey class, welcome back for another virtual field trip. Today we are on the Ustanala River, just outside of Calhoun, uh, close to Ustanala, Georgia. And we're going to be looking over a few things today um, and, you know, just trying to take advantage of this beautiful weather we have over spring break. So let's see what we can find. So I'm taking a break um, under a, a bridge about a mile north of the boat ramp. Um, it's obviously a railroad bridge and, and we can see that the birds have used this bridge as a habitat uh, and built a variety of nests. Um, we can also see that dirt daubers have created several nests up there. Uh, you know, just a wide variety of um, animal species in the river and around the river. Uh, interesting fact, the Ustanala River is a part of the Coosa River Basin. Um, and it is one of the most biodiverse rivers and areas in the United States and North America. So far today we've seen a wide variety of animal species. We've seen numerous turtles, even with the water super high uh, and murky, uh, as one of my uh, family members puts it, you know, it looks just like chocolate milk. Uh, we've seen a wide variety of species. We've seen numerous birds, numerous turtles. Uh, I've seen a bobcat, it's pretty cool. Um, seen a few few fish and a few bass jumping, caught a brim. Hopefully we're going to pull some bass out of here on the way back downstream. Uh, but overall, just a beautiful day on this Palm Sunday. So obviously the loud noise we heard pass overhead was a, was a train um, going over the bridge. And it gives us a chance to slow down and and think about the eighth grade standard that d discusses the impact uh, that transportation has on the state. You know, in Georgia, you have several transportation hubs. First of all, we have Savannah and the port of entry down there on the coast, and, and it plays a major factor uh, with the variety of imports and exports, both into, into and out of Georgia, but also, you know, internationally. Then we have uh, massive railroad systems connecting us throughout the state, uh, and this one passing overhead could have been transporting a number of goods. It could have been crops, um, cars, other manufactured goods. Then, you know, we have Hartsfield Jackson in Atlanta. Um, and, and obviously, unfortunately, it's slower now. Uh, but uh, when it's at its peak, it is the busiest airport in the world. So Georgia depends on um, its infrastructure to get the job done and keep the economy going. So we're gonna try to give you a better view of the railroad bridge and there is another train coming. So hold on tight. cargo but you can see the train in the background beautiful bridge but just a prime example of the infrastructure that keeps Georgia's economy booming uh, obviously we're facing a little bit of a recession right now but due to this infrastructure uh, Georgia will prevail and overcome so pretty much anywhere on uh, the Ustanala and on most of the rivers in the Coosa River Basin which includes uh, the, the Coosa, obviously, the Etowah, the Kusawati, the Conasauga, you're going to see major erosion issues on the bank, and that's for a variety of reasons. A, human impact uh, due to the regulation of water at all the various uh, dams throughout the system, such as the one at um, the ones at Carter's Lake and Lake Altoona. And, you know, this is not a bad thing necessarily because without this um, regulation of the water levels, you know, power that is provided to, to millions of Georgia would, would be very limited and our water supply would be a lot different. Uh, but, you know, a couple centuries ago, this river probably looked a lot different, uh, a lot less erosion, the water was more clear. Uh, from time to time, the flood levels would be much higher and that has impacted both Calhoun and Rome. Um, over the years, but it just gives you an example of the impact that humans can have on the environment. And we can look here and see 
where the water level was a while back and that's not just due to human impact it's also due to be uh, you know weathering and erosion due to environmental factors but you know there's a confluence of them both and this is what happens So we can both hear and see some livestock on the on the edge of the river. Um, you know, cattle is going to be found within every single county in Georgia, uh, which is a cool, interesting fact. Even in the metro area, um, urban sprawl may be occurring and you know continuing to reach uh, the counties around Atlanta. Uh, but luckily, you know, livestock is still present in every county. Uh, agriculture is a major component of Georgia, and this is just a prime example of. The importance when you see some calves there too the importance of uh, water um, in agricultural areas so if we were to follow this small creek back far enough uh, we would almost certainly see uh, a beaver dam or a beaver den uh, you can look around and see evidence of a beaver all around you um, and you know they're just very very impactful animals they take an, an ecosystem and turn it into a completely different one so this is one of my favorite views on the Ustanala uh, we can see the farmland to the left in the valley obviously the river is running through the valley and we can see the ridge up ahead uh, you know and this gives us an ex excellent example of uh, the ridge and valley region of Georgia once again uh, we're looking at national forest land up on top of the ridge uh, which is used for both recreational, whether it's hunting, hiking, mountain biking, uh, fishing, running, and also it's used for timber and a variety of other industries. So it's a prime example of one of those uh, federal and state uh, partnerships that we've talked about throughout the school year. So we can see, you know, erosion is playing a major role here on the um, the bank of the river. Uh, but you know, when you're in a river. Uh, you can't just trust what you see on top of the river, and that's one thing I wanted to talk to you about, uh, just in case you know you decide, well, I want to go on, uh, on a river trip now. Uh, you have to respect the river. Uh, you never know what's underneath uh, the surface of the water, and you know even today I've noticed tons of trees and other uh, limbs and whatnot um, submerged. And you know if you're running a boat or swimming, um, and you don't respect the river and what's underneath good things will not happen unfortunately so you're able to see a variety of, of soil la layers and rock la uh, levels here um, and you know often in this area um, probably not now just due to the water level uh, fluctuating so much but you'll see um, evidence of a mammal most likely an otter um, or something similar to that and you know they've been feeding on uh, mussels which are very prevalent here in the Coosa River Basin um, and in the Ustanala. Hey everyone we're wrapping up another virtual field trip today this time on the Ustanala River just outside of Calhoun Georgia in, in Ustanala Georgia. Uh, we've had an opportunity to talk about a variety of things today uh, such as the impact that transportation has on Georgia, the Ridge and Valley region of Georgia, agriculture in Georgia and a variety of ecosystems around the river. Um, we've also talked about the importance to respect the river and follow uh, proper safety protocols just because um, you know the river is a force to be reckoned with. Uh, but it can also be a great place for you uh, to be be responsible and have fun at the same time. Uh, th uh, throughout the day you know we followed all CDC guidelines. We didn't uh, go anywhere that we weren't supposed to and we've uh, luckily fishing is considered essential and is allowed under the shelter in place order uh, per Governor Kemp. Uh, but um, we'll be doing some other field trips soon and I'm about to run into a tree. So until next time, this is Coach Lindsay and thank you for joining me.